All right, people, welcome back. More Dev Pro Dual Commentary. So we are actually joined by Slate. Hello, guys. How you been doing? I'm all right. <laughs> Just... Got a pot of desires. Oh, of course, of course. The top tier shit. So this man, like... Yeah, the, the top tier shit, you say, as he has Red Resonator and Raiden on his field. Oh, I, I, I was just talking about the pot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, about desires, yeah. Yeah, like, I mean, he has two tuners on the field. I have nothing to say about that. And this man literally <laughs> just went through half his deck in one turn, so... He has three tuners in his field now. <laughs> yeah, three tuners. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, welcome back. More, uh... Dev Pro Duel commentary, so yeah, you're like, really? That's the thing? <laughs> yeah, as, as soon as Dan went down, I was like, well, I really, I'm too lazy to, like, change my channel at the current moment. So literally, I just was like, hey, Lunar, can you, like, change my thumbnail, my background pick, like, simply by just, you know, covering up? And he's like, sure. And I just changed it from DM to Dev Pro, and I've just been doing this since, so. Is this, like, so is this technically a new series, or is it in the same playlist? It's in a different playlist. Okay. Yeah. So what episode of Dev Pro Duel commentary is this? Uh, I want to say 10 or 11. 10, 10. <laughs> so, yeah, it's still fairly fresh. Still Ooh, is this going to be... Uh, see, I don't know what this could possibly be, but I hope it's I hope it's S0. I mean, we're seeing hidden the Hidden City, so definitely sub-terrace. You can go oh, ahead and catch that Solemn Strike. <laughs> oh, yeah, I didn't see the... I didn't see the... I didn't see the, sub, the Hidden City. My fault. Yeah. Yeah, Why well, did he play Goblinburg in that deck? I have no idea. Maybe. Yeah, that's what I was well, you know about. What? I, I can see it because he can go Goblinburg and then summon his level four Subterra, who has to send a Subterra and then tribute monsters on the field, equal well, to I mean, our Subterra. Subterra is like there's only one of those. You know what I mean? No, there's two. There's two two big Subterras and then the level four monster. Yeah, there's only one level four, so Goblinburg only has one thing to summon. Like that doesn't seem very. I mean, I see what you're saying because he has to tribute monsters or cards or whatever, so that's good. But but he can search that Subterra with Hidden City. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. And yeah. then you can search Hidden City with, yeah, so I get you it. You can search Hidden City with Terraforming, so. Yeah, the deck, I don't know, I, Terraforming is, it's crazy how freaking relevant Terraforming is, like, oh my gosh, like, every deck has a field spell now, it's so mm -hmm. awesome. Mm -hmm. It's actually, it's actually one of the talks in the, your community is, are we actually going to get to the point where Terraforming should be limited? <laughs> no, because people don't really play a lot of Terraforming, they don't, they don't, they don't run three field spell, three Terraforming a lot, you know, it's max two. Yeah, since Chicken Game's been hit. <laughs> It used to I mean, be three yeah. shows about three terraforming, and then just throwing a chicken game is filler. I mean, that's that's, a, that's an FTK deck. Like, that's not a deck like that. That, that doesn't even count. Like, I wouldn't even count that towards the, the recurrence of field spells because that was like not that wasn't an archetype that had a field spell. It was just chicken game being a mess. No, I'm just I'm just saying that people would just throw in one chicken game just so they would have the ratio of four field spells to the three terraforming. So they would yeah. hopefully not. Oh yeah, all. yeah. So I mean, because I mean, you know, terraforming is even out, and you uh, that, you, you chicken game that's it even out. Especially if you just replace it with a different field spell. <laughs> what, what the fuck just happened, though? Uh, he banished all his cards for uh, Fairy Tale Snow. Uh, During this card, yeah. this card is normal. I know that just came out. So, normal spell summoned. Target a face up monster punk control. Change the face on defense. You can banish seven cards from your hand field and graveyard to special summon it. Okay, mm -hmm. that's cool. So you banish, uh, banish seven, and he banished that Necroface. He's banished another five. Like goddamn, like sixteen cards in deck. <laughs> that came, that came out of. Uh, the dual, the the new one, the Dark Illusion, right? Uh, yeah, I believe so. I know there's another fairy tale coming out of the uh, in in what's it called? In it's it's Vengeance. Is it like Invasion Vengeance? I think. Yeah, yeah, they changed its name. It's stupid. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, Invasion of Venom made so much more sense. And also, um, we hadn't had the OCG TCG difference in name since like in a long time. Since like, I don't know, like New Challengers maybe. I don't it, remember. <laughs> I think I just named the set whatever the set is, whether it's OCG or TCG. Like, sometimes I'm just not used to just calling things by their TCG name. I, I, always, say the, still... I always say the abbreviation. Like, I always say, like, for the Dark Illusion, I'll say TDIL. <laughs> like, I'll probably just still like... end up calling, uh, you know, like, Pot of... Or, Pot of... Yeah. Okay, now, Pot of... Dem Desires. Yeah. Desires. See? That's why we keep on calling it Pot of Cupidity or Stupidity. <laughs> Well, what do you think of Vidity? Like, is that is that gonna stick, or that'll probably get changed too? It'll probably get changed. <laughs> That's so stupid. Um, so yeah, so. Uh, oh, he did the exact play I thought he was gonna do. That's good. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I opened a, I opened a box of Dark Illusion, or two of them actually on my channel, and uh, we had this guy from Texas who like hit me up on Facebook. He's like, I want all of your subterra stuff, so I got to trade all my subterra stuff to Texas. <laughs> Is that deck, is that deck relevant or? Subterra? 
Yeah. I, th- I, I mean, I think it's better than Spiral. I definitely think that. But I think Spiral's trash, though, right? I think Spiral's kind of trash. I really, yeah, they're they're yeah, really pretty, slow. Everybody I've heard talk about it has told me that Spiral has been trash. Well, that game was over real quick, so I guess we'll go ahead and go to game two. Yep. Uh, he got destroyed. I mean, for a guy who milled the shit out of his deck and played how and, and he opened up with double strike and uh, strike is cancer and uh, yeah. <laughs> see, strike is cancer, dude. But if I made a banless prediction at this point, I would not see strike getting hit. I'd maybe say semi limited. Maybe they'll take it slow. Maybe semi limited, then put it down to one eventually. Yeah, I think I think semi limit is more likely than a limit at this point. Yeah. And you know what? Anything is better than fucking nothing. Cause goddamn. <laughs> Like, there's just so much cancer in this game, like, I swear to Christ, Konami, if you don't do something about fucking card demise, wow. Okay, so I guess stealth just left. I guess he didn't want to go to game two? I don't know. Alright, well, I guess we'll get a different duel. We're right back. Alright, people, we got in a duel. Stealth, he's, uh, he got different opponents, so that's good. And we yeah, got... we're following stealth. Yeah, I just, wanna... <laughs> I just want to say something. So, that card, alright, so go through the big shadow. So, I'm a Blackwing fan. I played Blackwing in the League Season 1. I'm a, I like black ones a lot. Uh, that card I thought was really bad, but the token summons are actually optional, which makes it like pretty good actually. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I might consider picking up some of those. I'm pretty sure they're just like, like common. I mean, I mean that's not the reason why you run Gofu. It's for black wings. What? No, you don't run Gofu for black wings. You can. But that's not the reason why you do it though. Uh, what's why do people run Gofu? I mean, I've seen it in lots of different decks. I well, seen... you you run Gofu because it's a level five tuner, and then all you need is a level five non tuner, and you can go into Ultimaya so broken. Uh, wait, what? Ultimaya? Ultimaya. Oh, Sulkin. Uh, I don't know. If, uh, I don't know how much I like that card. And then all you have to do is just set one spell or trap from your hand, and guess what? You get to summon. Crystal Wing? Crystal Wing. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, I don't know. Okay. So that's the thing, right? Like, this is an unpopular opinion, but I think Crystal Wing is overrated. Um, It's better when you summon it with Ultimaya because you don't have to, like, waste a whole bunch of resources. Yeah, but... yeah. I, I think, I don't mind Crystal Wing. I think if you summon Crystal Wing properly, if you want to do all that work to summon it, man, more power to you. But Ultimaya, it's just like, okay, a uh, level 5 or higher non tuner, plus a tuner, bam, set a card and like, get to summon Ultimaya who will then I'm not, summon mm-hmm. more monsters. Like, I think Ultimaya is broken. Like, I, yeah, I, no, I, 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 I personally yeah. think that it, within a year, whether it be OCD or TCD, Ultimaya is going to get banned. <laughs> nah, dude, nah. There's, nah it's, that card is so it's unhealthy. Balanced. It's balanced. You have to set a card. I have to set what? A card. How's that balanced? Oh my god, you have to fine. set no, a no, card? No. <laughs> I think, alright, so I can't, I, I, maybe I'm just saying that because I can't run it in the decks that I want to run it in because I don't really run like shit to set. But, um,. But no, I'm not, I don't know, I am I think that Ultimaya is, first of all, it's not meta anymore, uh, so I don't think it's a reason it's to... It's meta in the OCG. It's hella meta in the OCG. What do they run it with? No, you think they're just tossing Gofu in, like, Instant Fusion or shit like that. Like, they, they will force it, or uh, Brilliant Fusion. Just for Crystal Wing? Yes, just for Ultimaya. All you do is, all you do is... <laughs> I mean, the getting effects is powerful, especially with how fast the game of Yu-Gi-Oh is. No one's really running any traps, like... Mo- but I think spells are well. I mean, monster effects will always rule, but um, mm-hmm. I think spells are a little bit more common than they used to be. Um, the thing about monster effects, and I- I've talked about this in the past, maybe on this, maybe on daily duels, but so the cool thing about monster effects is that uh, you have like mo- you have like presence, like monster presence with attack and defense, as well as whatever powerful effect you would have gotten from the speller trap, right? Like a speller trap always disappears after you use it, but a monster will stay there. So mm-hmm. you can, you know, it's it's just like when you use a monster effect. As long as the monster doesn't trigger itself or something, you're not going minus activating the effect. You know what I mean? Yep. Like a spell, you're always going minus one by playing a card from your hand. But a monster, it stays face up. Unless you're talking, like, you know, Exiled Force or something. Is he dark? No, he's Earth. Yeah, Goldenberg's Earth. Oh, another thing I wanted to point out. As I was mentioning in, in like, the last Stealth Duel, that uh, Invasion Vengeance is the first name change uh, since. And I couldn't remember what it was. So it's the first name change since uh, since Cross Souls, which was Crossover Souls in the, in the OCG. Which came out uh, February May fifteenth, twenty fifteen. So mm-hmm. it's been a while since uh, we've had a name change, which is annoying. That's it's stupid that they do that. You know, I kind of I just feel like Ultimaya is kind of like Ptolemyos. So you're doing plays that you shouldn't be doing. Like, are you? Are, are, if you would tell <laughs> me, if you were telling me there was a monster that could summon Crystal Wing, Beals, Void Ogre, Ignister, like, <laughs> uh. Yeah, I mean it's 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 just that I don't see it as much. I don't know. I guess it's I guess it's okay. Um, 
And it really, it really does limit, you know, the the dragons that uh, Konami can make, which is really bad because they're, you know, in this game of Yu-Gi-Oh, there's a very prominent, you know, sink seven or eight dragons. You know? There's some prominent ones. The most prominent being Ignister prominence. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> Scar uh, right, hot red. And the list goes on yeah, and on and on and on. So. Well, there's a lot. Like, it, it, I think it serves its purpose. I just don't think the summon condition is practical enough for it to be, you know. I said it really comes down to the meta in the end of the day, and I think, especially with the influence that OCG's been doing, that they're willing to, you know, put in the work just to bust it out. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. Maybe I should test it out more. There, Like you said, there are a lot of... It's a very versatile card. There are a lot of options to summon with it, so... Mm -hmm. Like, you just see it in extra deck marks already. Like, what, why would Gofu be there? Like, I guess for the tokens, but, you know, that all he needs is that Gofu plus his prime, and he already got to prime in the graveyard. We might possibly sit yeah, to my well, next turn. So, yeah, so, I don't know. The thing is, like, I don't know if... Are the tokens really that good? Like, they, they're they just, like, chum blockers? Like, is that it? I I mean, you could tribute them, right? Uh, No, they, they cannot be tributed. or used as synchro material. material. So, no, they're just there. Yeah, they're, they're pretty bad. That's why, originally when I looked at the card, I thought it was like, um, oh shit, what's the, it's the, the level three tuner, what's his name? The level three Blackwing tuner. I don't know. I don't know nothing about Blackwings. I, I, like, I, do, the, I do their card review and then I just move on because I'm not a big fan of Blackwings. Um, Steam. Level three Blackwing tuner, Steam the Cloak. Um... Steam the Cloak, uh, when he leaves the field, he mandatorily summons a Steam token, right? Mm -hmm. So I just assumed that this one was like that, where it was mandatory, but it's not actually. When you summon them, you don't have to summon the tokens, which makes it better, because you can just drop it, and it's a level 5 tuner, like a uh, quick draw. But uh, but yeah, the other thing I was going to say is that uh, Extract Monarchs playing Sulkin was short-lived. It, it was only meta for like m maybe, like, I don't know, maybe a month, probably less than that, so... But would they have to would they have to go through to actually bust out the Chizulkin? Like what was uh, their what was just, their level five tuner? Uh, quick draw. Good. Oh yeah, see, quick draw the an egg, and you got yeah, pitch, and I mean, you got to pitch draw, and you got to pitch another machine, right? No, just got, a card. Oh, is it just a card. Or a, mo a monster. I meant sorry. Oh, uh, just piss monster. Yeah, you, you neg on that. Go for you don't neg. You just special summon. Yep. Like even yeah. when the monarchs are hitting the OCG, that's this is what they do in OCG. So you think that you think that it, the difference maker is Goku? I mean, go Gofu. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I mean, Goku is always a difference maker, man. Oh yeah. <laughs> but Gofu, yeah, yeah, I definitely do. Yeah. He's just so that—he's just, he's just that simple special summon level five monster. Like, if I can bust out an Ultimaya by just going special summon Gofu, Insta Fusion, summon level five Ultimaya. Maybe they should hit Gofu. No, they should hit Ultimaya. There's nothing wrong with Gofu because there's another method that you can do it with the two card combo too. What? Uh, Armageddon Knight. Or anything, really, anything to send Mally to the graveyard plus uh, Red Resonator. Yeah, but Mally's Mally, and you can draw multiples, and it can suck. Like Mally is definitely not practical. I mean, I love Mally. Don't don't get me yeah, wrong. I mean, it, like I said, it doesn't really come down to practicality. Because if your argument is like, oh, well, it's not practical, don't do it. Then why the hell are people playing Brilliant Fusion? That's not practical. Well, okay, so that's a difference. So, <laughs> well, no, no, no. So, uh, Brilliant. So Brilliant Fusion, like getting an extra normal summon, is like. Okay, so the, the amount of things you can do with an extra normal summon is, is greater than the amount of things you can do with the Malicious on your field, especially in the meta. Um, I mean, that, that's Malicious, you can have access to Ultima, you can have access to Beatrice, and she's a boss-ass bitch. I mean, she's pretty much the Lavalo chain. Uh, Beatrice, well, what would you, wait, what would you, Beatrice is only good in one deck. Like, you, you can send a card from your deck to the graveyard, but, like, in what deck would that be the same as sending a Farfa? I don't so know, I don't, I don't really know that. about going for Beatrice. I'm just saying know. that there's other, there's, there's rank six plays. There's Ultimaya. Like the access to it's really good. I really do, but I don't really think. And like that... I said, it's just a cool two car combo. Red Resonator, which is highly switchable. You have three Red Resonators. Throw in your three uh, Resonator calls. You know, Armageddon Knight or Dark Drifter is not as much because, of course, uh, Road is at one. But you know, you got that Armageddon Knight. I mean, Red Resonator, Armageddon Knight. Drop the Mally. Go into Coral. Well, no, Road is at one. We're just talking about that guy splashing in Rota for Goblinburg in Subterrors. So yeah. I mean. Coral you know. Dragon, uh, then if you pitch if you want to, then you summon the Mally, you got your level 6 tuner, your level 6 non-tuner, sink into Ultimaya, and then the Coral Dragon will get you an additional draw when it's uh, removed from the field as a synchro, when it's uh, after it's been synchro summoned, so you get that additional draw, which is another card to set. Yeah. Let me look at Ultimaya. Someone is calling me from Florida. I don't know anybody from Florida. I am sorry. <laughs> yeah, dude, I get calls from... 
Like, I don't even answer him. I just hang up. <laughs> it's yeah. like Texas and stuff. Probably trying to sell me shit. Probably. <laughs> Louisiana. I got one from Nevada. You're home. <laughs> yeah, I know there was one guy who called me and was like, wonder if I wanted some male enhancement pills. <laughs> Like, oh, yeah, sorry. man, I'm going to go up to all the ladies and be like, hey, girl, you want some fuck? <laughs> <laughs> well, if I hear I hear this right, you know, I hear you're talking about your girl problems on the uh, on the YouTube. No, 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 no. <laughs> There's no girl problems. Okay. They're, yeah, they're, are you saying really... you have problems with girls? Is that what you're saying? They all just, they'll just flock to you? Shit. <laughs> the, the only pro girl that I have a problem with is my fucking mother. <laughs> No, no, I have no girl problem. I, I, like I said, I haven't really been going after any girls or associate. I'm not looking for a girlfriend right now, so. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if, if we. this is really what the viewers want to hear, but. Oh, yeah, they always want to hear about my life, especially when it <laughs> comes right, to ladies. Yeah, well, I, mean, I'm, I think I, Tiago I, messaged me. He's like, oh, you don't talk about your girl drama anymore. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know. I don't think, I don't really think, I don't really understand, like, monogamy and why in 2016 that is still the norm. Oh, the duel's over. Uh, what? How did he surrender? Like, I thought he was doing plays and he just quits? Like, His okay. mom called him for dinner. Okay, well, <laughs> I'm not sure if there's a game too. I guess we'll pause and see. It's 7.15, a little late for dinner. Freaking mom, 11 o'clock last night, came downstairs. She's like, I'm going to cook dinner. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Hey, dude, we were talking about Brilliant Fusion. There's that uh, that wonderful draw right there. Yeah, like, I, 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 like <laughs> it, it's <laughs> Richard. Summit Garnet Pass. <laughs> wow, Summit Garnet Pass. <laughs> I'm the only, what I've been playing Brilliant Fusion in is in uh, Chemical Beast, and I just keep on drawing my fucking Lazulis. Like, it shit pisses me off. Let me, uh, let me, let me tell you, I don't even know that, I didn't even know that Chemical Beasts were an archetype. What the fuck is that? Chemical Beast, <laughs> it's a new Gemini archetype. I've never heard of that. Yeah. And the play with Brilliant Fusion. What did it come Fusion? out of? What, what set? I think they're in the next set. Okay. Because I, I do have, I do, like, I have tabs open for me to look through the sets of the... The cards in the next coming sets, the uh, Dragon's Legend three, and then I assume you're talking about Invasion Vengeance. So. Yeah, but that yeah, play, that brilliant fusion play is actually pretty decent because uh, you don't actually go into Seraphonite, but you go into I think Amethyst. I want to say the wa the water one, the aqua one. What does she do? Uh, I think it's like when it's removed from the field, you bounce set cards back to hand. Like it doesn't matter. Pretty much, you send one of your aqua. Uh, Amethyst is is Earth, so. Okay, well, well, the one that requires a water monster. Okay. Just, you play Brilliant Fusion, you send your uh, your Lapis, and then your Crab, which is the searcher of the deck, and then Lapis, when it's sent to Barrow, you get a normal monster, by a card effect, you get a normal monster, so you get to go ahead and grab your searcher card through uh, Brilliant Fusion. A Amethyst takes an Aqua, is that what you yeah, mean? Yeah, yeah, Aqua. Okay, so yeah, Amethyst is Earth, but he takes an Aqua. Um, so yeah, so... Uh, the thing about that that I was thinking of is I've been watching some bandless predictions. Like, All right, hold on, can we, before you get into that, can we look at this man's struggle? What? Oh my god! <laughs> Damn, ah. Limbra is the deadest fuck. But it's so disappointing, and the thing is, he's like, I mean, okay, so the guy is back, right? But as of now, he looks like he's the one with the more advantage right now, because the other guy hasn't done anything, he just flipped mistake. It's crazy. Um, what was I going to say? Oh yeah, so I've been watching, like, uh, bandless predictions. And uh, the one from uh, some Yu-Gi-Oh, he, he talked about uh, instead of hitting Brilliant Fusion, it would make more sense to just ban Seraphonite. Yeah. And, um, th you know, that's relevant for you because you don't run Seraphonite. Like you said, you run Amethyst, so mm -hmm. that would be helpful for you. Yeah, yeah, I'd be totally fine with that. I, I, I Personally, I think that would be the correct choice. So, I'm, I'm going to be honest. This is, this is an unpopular opinion of mine. I don't think that Brilliant Fusion is that, like, is, is worthy of getting, like, banned or anything. Like, I think they might want to, like, like limited or semi-limited the fusion, uh, or I mean, if they're gonna hit Seraphonite, obviously they have to ban it. But I don't, I don't think I really would care. Like I'm never mad when my opponent uses Brilliant Fusion. Like it never really bothers me. It's just like another play. Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't mind it. I'm just saying, if they would ever hit something, I'd much rather them hit uh, uh, Seraphonite than Brilliant Fusion. Plus you, yeah. you, plus you know oh. me. You know me. I'm hella conservative when it comes to Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah, I'm super no, I'm conservative. Glad. I'm like hit everything. Everybody <laughs> get the deck. <laughs> I'm glad you, well, no, I'm glad you agree with me on that, because um, I see pretty much everybody, including either a Brilliant Fis Fusion or Seraphonite hit in yeah. their list predictions. I mean, so. I, I, I think I did a top five cards that, you know, they, they, put, they should probably hit, but probably won't, and I put that on there, but that was just for entertainment's sake. Like, for my actual damage prediction, I wouldn't put it on there. 
Mm. Like, I don't think it's that bad. Like, no, I, I, but you know me, I'm super conservative. Unlike Simo. No, Did you good. see Simo's prediction? Uh, not yet. Oh my god, I almost got cancer from his family's prediction. <laughs> Why? What'd he say? He just said, like, card destruction. <laughs> what? I'm sorry, I'm asking you what? Like, that was one of the things that he said. That card, oh, card, card destruction, destruction should come oh off god. banned. I thought you meant, like, I thought you meant, like, cards that destroy cards, like Twin Twister or some shit. No, no. no you mean, like, like, actual, the actual card that yeah. has the name card destruction? Yes. He wants that to come back. Yes. Uh, eh. <laughs> uh, I mean, I don't, I mean, uh, okay, so what would you, I mean, that, that's like out there, like you wouldn't hear that very commonly. So what, what do you think that would be great in? E freaking everything. Everything. Well, well, before it was banned, it wasn't running everything. It was good in Dragon Rulers, and that's why it got banned. Everything. Like, I'd play, no, no, I'd play, I'd play. Like, like, list X. It wouldn't be running Monarchs. It'd be running Cosmo. It'd be running PK. Definitely PK. Oh my I mean, god, yeah, PK. But, but Cosmo and PK are both going to get hit like in their own right. I mean, look, I'm not trying to defend card destruction here. I'm just trying to logic through it. No. Um, <laughs> like PK, well, I don't know. I mean, you. I think Dante needs to get like. Dante needs to be limited. Holy shit! All the fucking floodgates. I <laughs> know. You got enough floodgates over there. You're still god damn. I'm a, I'm a proponent of Dante being banned. I would. I wouldn't mind either or. I wouldn't okay. mind either or. Um, and then... I just, I, but I do think that if you're gonna limit Dante, you need to do a little bit more. Like, I don't think you could just be like, limit Dante and then we're good. Like, it's, if you're gonna limit Dante, we need to see a little bit more Skarm, we need to see maybe Graf to one, I mean, Sir to one, like, it just can't be just Dante to one. <laughs> yeah, well, I think, I think if Dante ban gets banned, that's, that's pretty much all you yeah, need yeah, to do. Yeah, 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 if you ban Dante, then sure, that's all you Because the do. thing is, so like, I, I guess I'll, well, I, I don't know if you want to, like, have me start ranting about Dante, but... You know, the deck has other boss monsters that they could play. So people talk about, oh, the way that BA was meant to be played is going to be gone. Okay, well, that's the point of the ban list. Is so this deck doesn't be, is not played anymore. It's been played for two freaking years. Seriously, like, oh, like, oh, well, if you hit Dante, then the way they, that the deck plays and that it'll kill the way the deck plays. Um, should all say hi. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God, yes. I was talking to somebody on Zodiac, and that's the exact comparison I made. Dante is Construct. Construct is Dante. Hey. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, so if we're talking about card destruction... We've got, you know, um, Cosmos. Oh, also oh, oh, and then we gotta look at the, the future meta, ABC. I don't see. I don't. I know they all have effects, but oh my god, I ABCs are that. ridiculous. Like they are. Are you still playing they're... it on daily duels? What? Uh, ABC. Am I still playing it on daily duels currently? Yeah. No. Okay. It's, it's not on for this month. But uh, yeah, that deck is the top tier deck in OCG. Yeah. Uh, but, don't they no, have so... card destruction? They do. Oh, they do, yeah. Card they have card destruction. Uh, so that's that, that. See, that's a really good comparison. So maybe <sighs> maybe he looked at some lists over there and they weren't running it. I said I don't, I don't know. know. I don't, I don't know. know. I'm just, I'm just super liberal. I'm just super. Liberal. I was also not a big fan of uh, Simo. You know, Simo Simo saying nigga in his video for Stratos, but uh. <laughs> oh, he did. Okay. Yeah, yeah he, I, he, I he did. <laughs> It's okay, we don't need to talk. That's like, that's, uh, that's bad. did you just say uh, that? <laughs> like, why does yeah. everybody think they can just throw that word around for freaking Stratos? <laughs> yeah, it's it's dumb. Um, oh, it's yeah, that's game. That's game. Like the floodgates, like this of Terra is coming through. Who possibly? I mean, dude, it was just, it was literally the floodgates plus him drawing double uh, Garnet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He he didn't draw into anything that can handle that situation. It's like you can't activate your dark effect. You can't summon any other attributes, which I believe that his um his um I Idos and Idea they're two different. No, they're yeah, they're two different attributes and types. And types, yep. So, Spellcaster so and Warrior. Right? Uh, you can't the, search so... with your you can't search with your freaking return. You can't search with your tenacity. You can't search with your pantheism. <laughs> like, god damn, that was just floodgate dot deck. <laughs> Is uh. So is that all we're doing, or are we doing? Yeah, no, we're done. We're done for now. Okay. So. So yeah. So I don't know. Uh, Cosmo, Cosmo, will probably take a, a hit as well. Is the only thing I was gonna say. Yeah, yeah. As like I said, I'm probably after Worlds, which I believe is this weekend. I'll probably do another banlist prediction, and then just call it post Worlds banlist prediction because I feel like the last one I did is not up to date because I thought they were gonna do a banlist before Worlds. Yeah. Uh, At least they confirmed yeah. that they're not doing a ban list even after. Um, the next not, two they, what they confirmed is that they're not doing a ban list this month. Yeah, Toronto no, is is the thirtieth and thirty first, I believe. So okay, so at least people don't have to have a heart attack off over that. Like, see, mm. even the, even the small news, Konami, even the small fucking information. Like, all you have to do is just be like, not this month. Like, oh, okay. <laughs> they don't even. <laughs> well, they can't yeah, even okay, give so, us that. <laughs> so Toronto's the twenty seventh, twenty eighth. My fault. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So 
Okay. So maybe immediately in September, maybe October, November. I don't know. So, <laughs> all right, yeah. we're done here. So one of those months. I will be sure to bring Slate on the channel more often. Like, I just I always feel like you're busy. Because I, I, when I see people on away, I don't want to message them because I think they're away. But then I message you in your way, and you immediately just pop online and be like, "Yeah, what's up?" <laughs> so yeah, well, because I'll tell you why. It's because when you're on mobile, um, it has you listed as away. So even if I'm online on mobile on the computer, it'll have me listed as away. Oh, uh, no, I'll join you. I'll join you whenever, man. I, I love doing this. All right, so be sure to subscribe to Slate. His channel ends in the comment section. The, the comment section is that, well, I, you know what? Fuck it. It's in the comment section. I'm commenting his channel. <laughs> Just make a Fuck comment. It. Comment. Make a comment. <laughs> it's in the description. <laughs> Click it. Go to his channel and subscribe. Of course, uh, he is a participant and uh, pretty much third in charge of the Yu Gi Oh! Draft League Season 2, which will be whenever. So <laughs> be sure to support him. Thank you for supporting me as well. And uh, yeah, see you guys later. Thanks for watching.